everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela Bell and I'm the founder of Intentional Living Wellness. I am a certified health coach, certified life coach, and I'm currently getting my certification in nutrition. And one of the things that I am really passionate about is living a whole foods plant-based lifestyle. I've been on this health journey now for what seems like years. But the biggest hurdle that I'm still working on overcoming is losing the 50 pounds that I have gained due to having menopause. So if you're someone who is my age, I'm sure you can relate. This has been a very slow process for me taking this weight off and I have struggled so much with losing weight, trying every diet under the sun and nothing has helped me. So far by following this new lifestyle, I'm going to share with you today that I have managed to lose 14 pounds and I am still going. So I'm really very excited about that. I wanted to create this channel in hopes of bringing awareness to how living a whole foods plant-based lifestyle can benefit your health, your weight, and your digestion. Recently, I've come to learn about some additional health problems that I've been having that forced me to go to the emergency room a couple of weeks ago. I literally thought I was having a heart attack. It was one of the most scariest things I have ever gone through. So I went to the emergency room, they did an EKG and all the tests. They discovered that I was not having a heart attack, so they sent me home and they suggested that I see my primary care physician. My primary care physician then referred me to a cardiologist who did some further testing and I, had, I do have some additional testing that I need to have completed at the end of this month. But what I discovered is that I am pre-diabetic, my cholesterol is high, and I'm also hypothyroid. So this is another issue that I'm working on, as well as discovering that I have some other issues going on with my gut. So I will be honest with you. I will tell you that I've not always been on a whole foods plant-based diet. I have flip-flopped back and forth between being plant-based and being a meat eater for the last couple of years. But the reason that I've decided to switch back to living a whole foods plant-based lifestyle is because of the current situation that I have going on with my health. Not only that, the studies that I'm doing to get my certification in nutrition is teaching me that this whole foods plant-based lifestyle has a lot of healing properties to it. So I'm not just on a journey to heal my gut. I'm on a journey to heal my entire body from inflammation, from headaches, from anxiety, so many things that I've been experiencing that I know living a whole foods plant-based lifestyle will help with. This has become extremely important for me, not just for my overall general health, but to avoid things like type two diabetes and hypothyroidism and high cholesterol. So the reason that I wanted to start this channel was to bring awareness not only to living a whole foods plant-based diet, but just living a whole foods lifestyle in general and how it could be so beneficial to so many people. During my studies of getting my certification as a nutritionist, I learned that even eating 10% of your diet, including processed foods in it, can contribute to a 14% decline in your health and increases your death rate by 14%. That's just having 10% of your food being processed. So I don't know about you, but I'm trying to live as long as possible and I'm, in, I'm planning on enjoying my life for as long as possible. So my hope and my prayer by starting this channel is to show you some of the recipes that I've been creating and to share with you what I'm doing to better my overall health and wellness. So I hope you will join me on this journey and if you like what you see in this video today, please consider clicking the like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. So I'm going to be sharing some recipes and tips on eating a whole foods diet, whether you are plant-based or not. So come along and join me. And today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. So I'm going to be showing you my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. So you can kind of get some ideas of what, what I do for those meals and how I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. So... I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, so this morning for our breakfast, I'm gonna be making a green smoothie and this is very, very gut healing, okay? So I'm not big on dirtying up a bunch of dishes, so I'm just gonna hold up the packages and show you what I have. So I have some baby spinach. I have some fresh raspberries. 
I have a banana. I have the Orgain Organic Protein. It is vegan, okay, very good. It's got 21 grams of plant protein in each serving and a serving is two scoops, okay. I've got my unsweetened almond milk and I also have this Super Seeds blend and it is flax seed, hemp seed, and chia seed. And I'm sorry, I'm filming on my phone, so I'm not quite sure where to look yet, so just pardon me. Okay, to, so to start out with, I have my blender here. Um, some people have a Vitamix. I have the Pampered Chef cooking blender, which is excellent for making smoothies. So I'm just gonna turn you around a little bit so that you can see. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a cup of almond milk. I just eyeball it. That looks about like a cup to me, okay? And then I put in my banana. This banana probably should be a little bit riper. The riper the banana, the better it is for you, but I bought them at the store yesterday and they weren't quite ready and I'm impatient, so I'm not waiting. Okay, now we're gonna add our raspberries. I usually do about a half a cup of raspberries or so, but again, I eyeball things. I don't even try to measure. Okay. And now we're going to add in a couple of really good handfuls of spinach. Spinach is really good for you. It's got a lot of vitamins. It's high in iron. It's really super good for you. Okay, now I'm gonna add my protein powder. I never put my protein powder on the bottom because I discovered that when I do that, it sticks to the bottom and it's kind of a pain to get out. So we're gonna do two scoops of protein powder. Okay. And I really don't need much more sweetness than this because I have banana in there and I have the raspberries and the raspberries can tend to be just a little bit tart. If you don't feel like a banana is gonna give you enough sweetness, then you can obviously add something like natural honey or you can add a couple of dates, make sure you pull the pits out first, um, or you can even add a couple of drops of stevia, whatever your preference. And now I'm gonna add my super seed blend. And this has got, like I said, it's got flaxseed, chia, chia, flaxseed meal, and hold hemp seeds. And this has got eight grams of fiber, six grams of protein, and 5,700 milligrams of omega-3s. And omega-3s are really, really important, especially when you get to be my age. Um, omega-3s are very, very important for being in menopause. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of this in here. And we're gonna put the lid on and blend it up. So I love my Pampered Chef cooking blender. I could do a lot of stuff with this. Most of the time I either make my own almond milk, which I haven't done in a really long time and I probably need to get back to doing. Um, you can make soup in here, but I mostly just use it for smoothies. I make my own hummus in here. It is a great, great blender. So we just put this on the smoothie setting and we just let it go. Okay, so we're all done blending this. So we're just gonna pull this off and we're gonna pour it into our cup and we're gonna give it a taste test. This is super thick and creamy. It is absolutely delicious. If you are not a fan of spinach, I promise you try this smoothie because you will not taste the spinach at all. It's the perfect amount of sweetness. It's really, really good. Like I said, if you don't find that this is sweet enough for you, you can put a couple of drops of stevia in there. Um, you can put a couple of dates in there. You can also put in maybe a tablespoon of honey, but honestly, you really don't need it. With the raspberries and the banana, 
and the protein powder, it is the perfect amount of sweetness and it's really, really delicious. Okay, so it is lunchtime and we're gonna have another smoothie because as I said earlier, I'm on a gut healing journey. So my plan is for the next seven days, because I have been having some gut issues, is to have a smoothie for breakfast, a smoothie for lunch, and then a regular healthy dinner meal. So I'm gonna be doing a different flavor of smoothie for lunch today, so let me just show you what we have. So again, I have my almond milk and we're getting kind of low, so I'm gonna have to go get more. So I've got almond milk, I've got spinach again, and this time I'm gonna be using a little bit of pineapple for the sweetness, and I'm gonna be using berries for the antioxidant properties. So I'm also gonna be using some of my protein powder, so let me grab that. All right, so I have my Orgain vegan protein powder, and I think I'm going to throw in another banana for sweetness. I use a lot of bananas. I love bananas. So we are going to go ahead and, again, we're going to put in about a cup of almond milk. And one thing that I did not do this morning that I wished I would have done was put ice. So I'm gonna grab some ice from the freezer. So I have some ice from the freezer. I'm just gonna put that in. That was one thing that I forgot to do this morning when I did my breakfast smoothie. And I like my smoothies really, really cold. So um, when I forgot to put that in this morning, I kind of regretted it. So I ended up having to put ice in my smoothie afterwards. It was really delicious. It just wasn't cold enough. So we're just gonna add our banana. And again, we're gonna add a couple of handfuls of spinach. Spinach is really, really good for you guys. It's got a lot of fiber um, and we need leafy greens in our diet for the nutrition properties of it. And like I said earlier, spinach has a lot of iron, so it's really good for you. Now I already have a banana, so I'm not gonna do a ton of pineapple because that would be a lot of sugar and we don't wanna put a ton of sugar. So I'm just gonna do just a little bit, like maybe a quarter of a cup of pineapple. Maybe a little more than a quarter, not quite a half. Now, because I'm using spinach and I'm using blueberries, I will warn you, when you use this combination, it's gonna turn your smoothie kind of brown. It's not gonna be purple, it's not gonna be green. That color combination just kind of makes it look a little brown. Um, which is okay because when I look at it, to me it looks chocolate, so I'm fine with that. And I'm going to put in about a half a cup of, this is our triple berry. Um, it's got two, two times the antioxidant activity compared to ordinary blueberries. So this is the Wyman's Wild Blueberry, Blackberry, and Raspberry combination. It's really good. Really, really good. Okay, so now we're gonna do one, uh, excuse me, two scoops of the Orgain protein powder. That's the serving size. I buy mine at Sam's Club, but I think you can actually get this at Walmart. The one that I get at Sam's is one and a half times this size. So for the money, I recommend getting it at Sam's or Costco or what do you have, whatever you have local to you. <coughs> excuse me. So my tablespoon measure is dirty right now, so I'm just gonna use like a regular serving spoon, but it pretty much is the same. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the same chia, hemp, and flax meal that I did this morning. And then, I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this because I think I want mine just a little bit thinner than I had it this morning. We're gonna pop the lid on, set it to the smoothie setting and just let it go. Okay, so we're all done blending. This actually came out a little bit more purple than I thought it would, which is kind of nice. 
but here you can see it is in my blender and it's a little bit thinner than it was for my breakfast smoothie which i'm happy about but look at this look how delicious this is now i could offer this to my husband yum it's delicious this actually made two servings for me, which is great. I could actually offer one of these to my husband, but he's actually currently eating his own lunch right now. So I'm going to drink both of these and I will see you at dinner. Okay, so it's dinner time. And for tonight's meal, I'm going to have something super simple, nothing too spicy because I do not want to upset any kind of anything going on in my gut. So it's going to be really, really simple. So what I'm making is a marinated tofu. So if you can see I've got my tofu pressing in the tofu press. In this container, I have some um, rice wine vinegar, honey, and sesame oil. And I like to put things together in one dish when I measure them out because I don't like a lot of dishes. I have two cloves of garlic here and I have a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all of this together. I'm gonna marinate the tofu for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna pop it in the oven. So sorry, my camera is a little awkward. I'm working on my setup. So I'm just gonna mix together all the ingredients. So we have the soy sauce, like I said, it's a quarter of a cup. We've got two cloves of garlic, might be a little bit more. I really love garlic, so. I tend to go a little over in my garlic. And then I have my sesame oil, my honey, and my rice wine vinegar. I'm just gonna get that all incorporated together. We're just gonna give this a really good mix. And then I'm gonna take the tofu out and I'm going to cut that into cubes. And then we're gonna put it in the marinade. Okay, so I'm just going to cut my tofu into smallish cubes, like maybe a half inch cubes. And the way that my tofu presses in that tofu press, it kind of flattens it out, but it gets all of the whey, or whatever you call it, that's in the tofu out. So it makes it a bit more firm and it allows you to soak up all of the marinade a lot better. So we're just gonna put this in the, in the marinade. And one just went overboard, so we're not gonna use that piece. All right, so now we're gonna stir this up really good and get it really, really well coated in the marinade. And we're just gonna let this set for 15 minutes. Okay, so our tofu has been marinating for about 15 minutes. So we are just going to put it on this pan and I've got the oven heating at 350 degrees. It's already heated up. So we're just gonna put this on the pan and we are gonna let this tofu cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. In the meantime, while this is cooking, we're going to go ahead in the other frying pan over here and we are going to start our stir fry vegetables. By the time our vegetables are done, our tofu should be done. So we're going to let our tofu cook for about 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. And while that's going, we're going to go ahead and get our stir fry vegetables started. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to spray my nonstick skillet with some olive oil spray. I try to cook with as little oil as possible, not only for my gut health, but to help myself with my weight loss program, right? So let me put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So I love these pans right here. I bought these pans on Amazon. I got a whole set for about $146. I can put the link down below so that you can check them out but it was $146 and I think it was around 10 pieces. Um, I'll put the picture up so you guys can see, but they are non-stick, but they're not Teflon coated. These are a non-toxic pan. 
So when you cook in them, you have to cook on a bit of a lower heat. You never want to turn it up on high, but it has a really good base on the bottom. They conduct the heat very, very well. I love that these pans are non-toxic. I don't have to worry about my pans leaching any on um, I don't have to worry about my pans leaching any harmful ingredients into my food. They are very, very non-stick. They are super easy to clean. All you need is a little bit of spray oil in the bottom just to keep things going well. But you can also, um, and I'm sorry my head is cut off, but you can also saute in water if you'd like. So we're gonna use this Great Value Broccoli Stir Fry tonight. It's broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, sugar snap peas, white corn, mushrooms, water chestnuts, and red peppers. So I'm going to set this up on a medium heat. And I'm just going to dump about half of this package in. I'm going to make enough so that I can have this for dinner tomorrow. So the way that my stove is set up is it has a center eye and because these pans conduct heat really, really well, I don't have to have the larger eye on. One thing you want to remember when working with these pans is you want to use either a wooden spoon or a silicone or plastic spoon. You never ever want to use metal. So don't use any forks. You don't want to use a knife to cut into the pan or any of that. Okay. So we're just going to let this stir fry get going. I've got this on a medium, now I've turned it up to about a medium to medium high, nothing too majorly high. Um, on a gas stove, you definitely want to use these pans on a much lower heat setting because gas seems to cook food a lot faster. So you want to really watch that on a gas stove, but because this is a glass top stove, I don't have to be so precious about how high the heat is. I don't want to cook it on the highest of high, but I can do more of a more of a medium to high heat. So we're gonna get this going, and in just a few minutes, I'll come back. We need to let this cook for about probably 15 to 20 minutes to soften all the vegetables. I've already got my rice going in my rice cooker here. We got the tofu marinating. When that comes out, then I will add it to the vegetables and we'll put it all together. Okay, so our tofu is ready. I just took it out of the oven. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add this to our vegetables. The tofu is really super flavorful. I tried a piece when I brought it out of the oven. So it's gonna go really well with these mixed vegetables. and it's gonna be really delicious with the rice that I made. All right, that is all there is to this dish. We just mix the vegetables with the tofu, we add some rice. I'm gonna plate this up and give it a taste here in just a moment, and I'll see you back in a few seconds. Okay, that's it for this meal tonight, you guys. Here is what it looks like. I just plated up some brown rice that I was cooking and I put about half of the tofu vegetable stir fry on my plate. And then I topped my rice with a little bit of soy sauce and it is really, really delicious. So if you wanna know more about how to transition to a plant-based lifestyle, I'm gonna leave my contact information down below. Check out my website or you can also friend me on Facebook or follow my group on Facebook. I'll put all of that information down below. I would love to talk to you more about it. I'd love to give you a free consultation just to answer any questions that you might have about it. So have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like because it helps my algorithm. Thanks so much. Have a good night. Bye.